Hi guys, I wanted to come to you today with my May 2016 Beauty Empties. I don't have a ton of them this month, but I can already tell I'm going to have a ton next month. So we'll just go through what I have today and watch out for next month because it's going to be enormous. So the first thing that I went through was this Aussie two times the, I don't know, two times the lift in one spray volume hairspray. I absolutely love this stuff. It smells good and it has the maximum hold in it and I love this stuff. So I went through that and I also went through a Tresemme um, and I didn't go, these were half full and I finished them up this month. Um, this is the Tresemme Extra Firm Control Hairspray. I love this stuff. The only thing I don't like about it is it smells like freaking bug spray. So that drives me nuts, but I still use it. Once it dries down, you can't smell it. And if you turn your head or anything, you're not going to smell it. But I do love this stuff and I will repurchase it. And I definitely would repurchase this as well. So those are two of the things that I loved this month. Another one that I loved was this L'Oreal Total Repair 5 Restoring Shampoo. I absolutely love this. I love the way it made my hair feel. Um, I love the way it lathered up and everything. So definitely will be repurchasing this. Um, I did repurchase some on my couponing ex escapade, but I did get one with a purple lid. I think it's for volumizing. So I'm in there trying it now. So I will let you know when I finish it up. But I definitely will be repurchasing this. I went through a Body Shop Honey Mania and I love the smell of this. I put it on my legs. It's getting a little warm outside for this thick of a lotion, but um, I still like this and really like it in the winter. I got it at TJ Maxx for $5.99, so absolutely love this. I went through one of my Aveeno Ultra Calming Makeup Wipes. I like these. I like the wipes. The only thing that I don't like about this is the scent. It has a very um, potent scent on it, so that is the only drawback on this that I do not like. And I st still have several more of these that I need to go through, but um, the only, and I think it's the Calming Fever Few or the Chamomile. I'm not sure what that smell is, but that's the only drawback I have, but I would repurchase them. Um, because I love the softness of the cloth and everything like that. I went through three hand soaps last uh, last month, and it was the first one was the Method Fall Collection White Cranberry Foaming Hand Wash, and I got this at Marshalls for a dollar ninety nine, and I absolutely love this. I love the Method. Um, hand wash. I love it just like I love the Bath and Body Works. So definitely would repurchase Method again. This about got on my last nerve. I don't know if it's getting old or I got it from the dollar store and it's the Kalar and Danver. And this one was the first one that has done this to me, but it seemed to want to clump up and just act kind of crazy. So I fought with this one till the bitter end and I probably won't be repurchasing any of these. Um, if I do, I will just purchase one to see if it's it does that because it was old or something. Because I have a ton of um, hand washes around here. Um, there's two or three things that I make sure I keep in my house. One of them is toilet paper and the other is hand wash. So um, other than that, we can run out of it and we're good. But as long as there's toilet paper and, and this, I'm, I'm a happy girl. So... I don't know if I repurchased this or not from the dollar store, but, and then I got this from Walmart, I think it was 98 cents or something like that, and it's the Dial Miracle Oil, and it's got marula oil in it, and this stunk. It just flat out stunk. Um, ugh, it's got a perfumey smell to it. I was expecting like a marula oil, like a a very soothing or calm this is perfume in a bottle is what this is um, so I definitely would not purchase this dial again it's just not a good thing and with me having OCD this 
type of bottle, I go through this in probably about three days. Um, every time I walk past a sink, I wash my hands. That's how crazy it is with OCD, uh, the germ kinds. So these don't last me very long. The foaming ones tend to last me a little longer. I don't know why. I know some people it doesn't, but for me it does. Um, I went through the Bath and Body Works Aromatherapy Stress Relief uh, Eucalyptus Spearmint Body and Shine Shampoo. And I really like this as well. I think I like the L'Oreal a little better, but I had this in my stash and I wanted to try it out. So um, I don't know that I would get this unless I found it on a really good sale or something. Um, but it was fine. I think it was like a clarifying, more of a clarifying shampoo or something. I'm not sure, but um, it was it did smell very good. I don't have any complaints about it. I don't remember anything that I hated about it. Um, but I do like the L'Oreal a little better, I think. So I will be getting the L'Oreal. I finished up some products in my project Use It Up. I can't remember if this was in... I finished this up last month. And I don't know that this was in last month's empties or not. But it's, in, it's still in the bin. So if it was, I'm sorry. But I used this Hangover Too Faced Primer. Um, and I finished that last month. Then I finished up this month the MAC Mineralized Charge Water. So I will be Mac back to macking that. I finished up the Ula Hendrickson's Pure Truth Melting Cleanser. I will not be repurchasing this. This was breaking my face out. And when I um, figured that out, I started using my Origins. I would put this on, break up my eye makeup really fast and get the Origins um, frothy cleanser on there and get it off really fast. So I will not be repurchasing this again. It's just an orange jelly kind of looking thing in there. So definitely won't be getting that again. And the lid won't go back on. Then I used up the Sephora age defy night moisture cream i use that all up i use it on my elbows because it's another product that's very thick and broke out my face um, a while back so i finally used it all up and i used it actually on my elbows to use it up then i have one of my holy grail clinical strength uh smooth solids i love the smooth solid kind my absolutely favorite one. Here's uh, one of the Origins Checks and Balances. This is what I would put on my face to get this off. I have two of these deluxe sizes and then I have a full size that I am getting ready to get into. I love this stuff. The only thing I don't like about it is if you get it in your eyes, it is gonna burn like a mofo. So um, watch out for that because it hurts bad. Um, I've made that mistake a couple of times. You'd think I'd learn, but I don't learn easily around here. I finished up three perfumes, I guess you could call it. One of them is the Bath & Body Works Be Joyful Deluxe Sample. They usually bring these out around Christmas, I think. So I used that up. And then I used one of the Scentbird... Uh, little tubes and this one is in Giorgio Armani C and I absolutely love this scent. Uh, I This one would be one that I would definitely consider purchasing. It smells good. It smells so fresh. It's a light scent and I really really love this so definitely would consider purchasing that one. And the other one is the Daisy by Marc Jacobs and I liked this one as well. I like anything by Marc Jacobs, I think, so I used that up as well. And then I used another hand, um, hand therapy lotion in the deluxe sample. This is something I got out of Birchbox, I think it was. I would not get this again. This had a scent to it, and it's, it did not smell good. So I would not... I had to actually mix this in with a... Um, lotion that didn't have a scent to it to knock it down. That's how strong this was. And I did not want a migraine from this, but I was going to, I was bound and determined to use it up. So I went through that and I would not get that. I used up two of the um, toothpaste. I could not remember what it was. 
and it's the Sensodyne Fresh Impact Maximum Strength with Fluoride. I got this for my dentist, so I used that all up. And I used one of my Crest 3D White in the Radiant Mint that I love. So I used that one up. And the last thing that I used up was the Origins Super Spot Remover. I finally finished this little guy up, and I have started on another one. So that is all my empties that I have for the month of May 2016. If there's any that you finished up and you want to let me know about, please leave those down in the comments. I would love to know what you've been going through. Um, if there's anything that I need to try that you've been loving that you've gone through, let me know down in the comments. I definitely would love to know that. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe, please do. I would love to have you here, and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a good day. Bye.